Hello everyone, welcome to Nursing Guru, myself Radha Mukherjee. Today I am going to discuss about medication administration. So what is medication administration? A uh, medication is a substance administered for the diagnosis, cure, treatment or relief of a symptoms or for prevention of disease. And let's moving to the purpose of medication. So drugs can be administered for these purposes like uh, diagnosis purposes. What is diagnosis purposes? To identify any disease. Okay. Then prophylaxis, which is prophylaxis to prevent the occurrence of disease. It's called prophylaxis purposes. Example, heparin to prevent thrombosis or antibiotics to prevent infection. So therapeutic purposes to cure the disease. So let's moving to the uses of drugs. Prevention. Like prevention we can use the drugs. Use that uh, prophylaxis to prevent diseases. Example, vaccine. Fluoride prevents root decay. Diagnosis establishing the patient disease or problem. Example, radio contrast die due pergulosis testing then what is suppression suppress the sign and symptoms and prevent the disease process from progressing example anti-cancer antiviral drugs treatment for patient with chronic disease we can treat with the drug so let's moving to the right of medication administration so right patient how can identify means correct identification of the client cannot be over emphasized this can be done by asking the client to mention his or her full name which should be compared with that on the identification bracelet or the patient folder and medication treatment chart for confirmation. So write medication. So before administering any medicine to the patient so you should compare name on medication chart, medication order with that on the medication at least three times checking medication level with uh, when removing it from storage unit and compare medication level with that on treatment chart and medication level and name on treatment chart with patient's name tag. So right time, drug timing is very especially with some drugs like uh, antibiotics, anti-malarial drugs, etc. to achieve cure and prevent resistance. Some drugs must be given on empty stomach also, okay, like anti-tuberculosis and some after meals also. So this must be noted and adhered to. The interval of administration of drugs should also be adhered to because it's important for many drugs that the blood concentration is not allowed to fall below a given level and for uh, others to succeed does closer that prescribed might increase blood concentration to a dangerous level that can harm the patient also. So right dose, the, this becomes very important when medication at hand or in a larger volume or strength than the prescribed order given or when the unit of measurement in the order is different from the sublight from the pharmacy. So careful and correct calculation is important to prevent over or under doses the medication. So right root, an acceptable the medication order must specify the root of medication. If this is unclear, the prescriber should be contracted to clear, clarify or specify it. The nurse should never decide on a root without consulting the doctor. A right to information on drug or client education. So the patient has the rights to know the drug. But he, uh, whatever he is taking, desired and adverse effects also. And all this is to know about the medication, the charter on patient's right made the clear. And right to refuse medication. So the patient has the rights to refuse any medication. However, the nurses uh, are giving uh, to the patient. And nurses has to explain to patient why the drug prescribed and the consequences refusing medication right assessment some medication requires specific assessment before their administering example checking of vital signs 
which channel will come under the vital signs temperature pulse respiration spo2 and bp okay so write documentation so documentation should be done before giving medication not after so this is the this is my last point under the rights of medication so right evaluation conduct assessment of a certain drug action both deserve a side effect so far we have discussed about administration of medication so i hope you are not having any doubt if you will have please write in our comment box and don't forget to like subscribe and press the bell icon thank you all